Hello everyone, uh, I'm HCF Wesker, uh, new to speedrunning Super Metroid somewhat, been at it for about five months now, and uh, this is going to be my Fantoon tutorial. Uh, I've talked to many people about it, I've dragged it out long enough, so here we go. And this is not meant to be like a replacement for DBX's Fantoon tutorial, his is awesome and amazing, it's what most of us have relied on. I'm going to have a link to that if I can figure out how to do links in the descriptions. But he covers other stuff that I don't cover, like flame lane backups and other techniques. So it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, the main goal on this one is just to have newer players or other players who are just having little problems with the fight. And to try and break it down and have them more prepared. So when you're first wanting to learn Fantoon, I'm sure many of you have already learned. Like you know how the fight goes, but I'm just going to try and go over each thing step by step. This will probably be a long tutorial, and uh, depending on how much time you want to put into Fantoon, this tutorial is there if you want to use it. This will not make you an instant pro just by watching this. You need to watch it, understand it, and incorporate it into your gameplay. I'm outside Fantoon's door. Just going to show you a couple of things real quick. Um, what we're going to be doing is <clears throat> wave beam charge shot. So if you get spacer or early ice you want to turn it off before you get into this door and I know there are some that choose to wait till they get ocean fly or shine spark across the lake to the right ship and they'll pause turn off ice and spacer quicker than what I do I'm not used to doing it that was so you just I, I assume it's because you stay in forward momentum instead of stopping before Phantom's door and selecting everything but yeah you just want to have charge beam and wave beam on for here And the patterns I'm going to go over with, they can also work with spacer as well. I mean, knowing when the eye opens is very important. Um, so about special beam attacks, X-Factor is a special beam attack. Special beam attack is when you have power bomb selected and charge beam and another special beam, whether it's wave, spacer, ice, whatever. Um, not all three of them in combination. It's got to be charged in one or the other. It takes exactly 120 frames, which is pretty much two seconds. To charge just to make it clear yeah two seconds pretty much and when you do have uh, particles flying around I try to select missiles and spam shots you cannot fire any shots during while any of these particles are on screen the only thing you can do let's get another one one Mississippi two Mississippi right there two seconds you can lay a power bomb or you can lay one bomb at a time. So I'm you're trying to spam bombs, but that's all you can do once these particles are out. Now I can drop bombs for days once the particles are off screen. And they, I think they stay on screen for several seconds. Um, I don't have the actual time, so. And with your special beam attack during the charge, you can delay it by turning around, uh, holding the charge, and you can like just spam turning 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 it'll delay just by a few more frames uh, this is a technique we're going to use on a couple of x-factor setups only when mentioned another way to delay the x-factor is by spin jumping once you have a charge uh, the charge won't release until you get broken spin which pretty much when you land so if you're scooter screwing with a charge you need to push the shoot button to release it now when i go over uh releasing the charge if you're standing on the ground and you're charging, you can simply release the shoot button to let it go. But when you're pseudo screwing and you let go of the shoot button in the middle of a jump, it won't release until your spin's broken, which basically when you land on the ground. So we want to do a pseudo screw and hit the shoot button when we're ready to release the shots because there's going to be some patterns where you hit Fantoon off the ground and you want to pseudo screw through his flames and release the shot. And the good thing about this is when you press shoot again to release the shot, you can just continue holding it and that will get your charge ready when we're X-Factoring. When you're ready to start Fantoon for your practice session, go ahead and run inside. And you want to get in position. I like to get my foot, my front foot in front of this black line. Also make sure you select, have power bomb selected before you run in or as soon as you drop in, get power bomb selected. 
So I like to get set up right when I'm in front of this black line here. Second block over. Um, now the trick to getting ready to practice Fantoon, these blue flames, once they form and they all implode and once Fantoon's on screen starting to uh, materialize or whatever, pause right here. Hit pause. And just a pause button delay. Now what you want to do, you want to make a safe state here. Make a permanent. This is a permanent safe state to keep. And what this does is, by having Fantoon forming and pausing, when you unpause from this save state, what that will do is that will activate a random pattern. And sadly, I got a right slow here, so... Okay, then we're going to reload that save pattern, that save state, in the pause screen still. Once we unpause, he went right last time. Now he's already going left, so we're already getting a different pattern. So, there we go. Now this is the best way to learn Fantoon in my opinion. You want to learn a pattern at a time. Whether it's left fast, left mid, left slow. No, that's one sequence. And then you got another sequence. Right fast, right mid, right slow. I'm saying just one pattern. Left fast, left fast, left fast. Luckily, um, I actually got it right here. But I want to show an idea of this. So with this safe state, this is your permanent safe state. This is when you want to practice random patterns once you feel like you've got it down and you want to test your skills against any pattern but on this one when you unpause and during the unpause animation once the screen goes black like here make another save state what this will do is this will keep it the same opening pattern so luckily like I said I got left fast here so I'll show you this real quick so left fast we can practice getting that shot in and see when I load the save state, it doesn't go to the pause screen, it goes to when I'm unpausing. And we're just going to get left fast. And that way, so now you can practice not only hitting the eye, but you can also practice the X Factor as well over and over. <laughs> now that we got the intro out of the way, also, one thing to cover um, damage ratio, Fantoon has 2500 HP. A charge shot's going to do 150, and if you connect all four X factors, that's 1,200 damage, which is 300 damage a piece. And so 1,200 and 1,200, then 150, 150, uh, or 2,700. Also to note, if you happen to get flame lamed, or you miss a particle in the second round, he's down to one hit, you don't need to do another X factor, just a charge shot on the eye, or sometimes what I do, I just select missiles and I just spam two or three missiles when I know his pattern's gonna open so I can kill the flames that come out and then hit his eye. So yeah, don't try an X Factor of the third round if you only missed one particle or got flame lane one particle. So we got orange for fast, blue for mid, purple for slow. Pretty much round one is the opening round, that's it. Once the opening round is over, whether you get the X Factor, he trolls you with the flames, you don't get it, and he disappears and drops flames. Once that sequence is over, this is all you will deal with the rest of the fight. Whether it goes to two round, three round, four round, five round, however, you will only be dealing with these. Okay, now that we got the intro out of the way, let's get ready to do some Fantoon uh, left first round patterns. Alright, so here is a diagram for round one. Left patterns, that's when Fantoon forms and he drifts to the left towards you. Um, I've got these laid out, these big stars. I know this looks goofy, but hey, it's, it's there if you need it. Whoever wants it. Uh, as the key says over here, orange is for fast, blue is for mid patterns, and purple is for slow. So what we're fixing to see here is the start to the fight. All right, so here for the uh, opening round. Now, when Fantoon forms, well, like I said, you want to be in front of this block, just holding angle up as he's forming. Once he goes solid, he's going to go one of two directions. He's going to come drift towards you, going left, or he's going to drift up to the upwards to the right. So once, if he comes towards you, it's left pattern. If he drifts up this way, 
it's a right pattern. So right now we're going to work on our left patterns opening round and I'm going to put up this diagram real quick. And I'm just going to let this diagram play one time because I've got these, I've got all patterns edited in one motion just to kind of show you they're not exact marks for the eyes. I mean, I had to adjust my mill, millimeters, but they pretty much give you an idea. They're, they're pretty much where you need to be set up. And that's fast, mid, slow, left opening round. Okay, I'm going to cover this. Uh, we just have this diagram on just for right now. I'll take it off, but just want to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at here with this, these drawings. Orange is fast, so this is what we're working on. Uh, I know this looks crazy, but there's two options, common options, or I don't know how common this bottom one is, but this one's pretty common where um, you're going to jump up, hold a charge, and run to this wall. And in this one where you'll run to the wall, you need to turn two twice to kind of delay the charge, because if you don't delay the charge, it's going to come out too early, and these far particles are going to hit Fantoon before these two even have a chance. But for right now, it's just cover getting the eye. So once Fantoon forms and he's solid, while he's forming, just keep holding angle up. Once he goes solid, fire a shot. My shot's already released. I'm waiting on him. Now, for the left, he's going to drift towards you. He's going to open his eye, let the flames hit you. Once the flames hit you, release your shot. And we release the shot. Now, something I need to make very clear about setting up for X-Factors, the very moment you hit Fantoon's eye, you release the shot, you need to hit shoot again and start charging immediately. It's very important. There's only one pattern you won't do this on, and I'll get to that when we get there. Spoiler alert, it's a round two left slow. Um, but yeah, you want to immediately start charging. And like I said, there's one or two options. You're either going to jump up here, like I said, while holding charge. Let me go to that pattern real quick. I'm just trying to show you the eye opening right now, just to give you an idea. So yeah, charge it, let them hit you, and then release the charge. Yeah, it's that simple. Okay. Now that we've hit his eye, we've got to hit him within two seconds before he leaves screen. Well, he's not going to leave screen in two seconds, but two seconds is the time you wreck factor charge. So I've hit him, and I'm already I'm already hitting uh, charge right now, which I'll show you. You can see it. It took that long to show up on screen with all the iframes or whatever. But, yeah, I'm already holding charge. Now, with this option, you want to jump up about three-quarters of the screen. You don't want to bop the ceiling. You want to jump up to where your, your body's just pretty much in line with this right above the door and I'll show you in slow motion about that high once you get here and you release jump so you don't bop the ceiling you just want to hold over and get over this wall as you fall down and just run up against the wall um, another thing to make clear whenever I mention the word the phrase run I don't mean the run button I never once use the run button during any pattern, any part of the fight. Never once push the run button. So if I do say run, I pretty much just mean hold that direction and get over there. So, yeah, we're going to fall down. As we're falling, we're pushing to the right side of the stage. And we're just going to run over there, take a hit from the flame. It's okay. And we're just going to let them come to us. And success. And I'll just show that one regular motion for you. And that is one option. This one is a little complicated, but for me, it's the only way I do it. It's just become more consistent for me. And uh, this way, I, I couldn't understand this. At, I couldn't understand the uh, jumping one at first because I guess I was bopping the ceiling, not paying attention. I kept bumping the ceiling and would mess up the position of Fantoon to get down here. So I just, I worked around, try to figure out a way to do something. And I know other people do this method as well, but I do it a little differently. Where some people get here and they do a turn, then a turn, then jump. Uh, what I do is once I hit him, when his eye opens, let me get that going here. I immediately charge once I hit his eye. 
and I'm gonna get all the way to the wall. Now what I do here, when Fantoon, when you open Fantoon's eye, he's alerted to your presence pretty much, and he's gonna track you. He's gonna do this little wiggle motion. He's gonna go right, left, right, then exit stage. That's pretty much how he does it. So what I've learned to do here is I manipulate his movement. By the time I get over here, he's making his way to left. So I'm gonna do exactly what he does. I'm gonna run to the left, and once I notice he stops going left, I turn around and go back to the wall. And then once I'm at the wall, I jump up, and I just hold down. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I do. Yeah, let me go back to that little spot again. Like I said, if you just watch. Yeah, once I hit the wall, I'm tracking his movement. And it's a little complicated. So if you don't like this method, don't do it. But yeah, I'm going to go left, follow him. Once he stops, I go back right. And then, yeah, once you hit the wall, jump up. And you may can get away with stopping here turn turn then jump up i don't know why i just feel like the timing's more consistent when i just follow his movement and i'll show that again with the diagram off there you go that's uh left fast right there now left mid, this is where the fight gets a little complicated. So I'm gonna try to break this down. Uh, so if he goes left, even if um, you're doing the save state thing where you're practicing, like you've like, oh man, I got left fast nailed down. So let's practice left mid and you get a save state up to where you're constantly getting left mid. Don't just get over here and wait for the left mid. You still want to get to the habit of always being ready for a left fast. Even though you're practicing, you know you're not getting it, you still want to get in the habit. So even when I'm doing this, I'm always still preparing for a left fast. So we're going to do that. Prepare for a left fast. Now, if he passes through you, because he's going to open up right in front of your beam. If he passes through you, you need to release this shot right away. Otherwise, you're going to accidentally overcharge and you're going to have particles stuck on the screen. You got to hope and pray you don't get a mid because he's going to open up here a couple seconds later. And you got particles. You got to hope the blue flames hit him or whatever, or hope you get a slow and the particles are over by then. So just release the shot if you don't get the current pattern you're aiming for. Now this is where um, I'm going to try to break this down for you. When Fantoon is in his uh, pattern, he's doing a figure eight pattern. And typically on a left pattern, he always, when he goes off a wall, he's always up high. Then he goes low to connect to the wall. It's not really important, it's just something I feel like pointing out. Um, but with his eye closed, he, he doesn't even know you're there. He don't even care. He's just chilling out. Um, he won't be alerted to you until you hit his eye or he's ready to open up. So there's no way you can manipulate this with his eye closed. It's going to be constant. It's going to be the same every time except for the only thing that's not the same is when his eye decides to open on the pattern he chooses or if he goes left or right. But once he's in this state, there's nothing you can do. Um, so what's going to happen is we release our charge. Now here's a common mistake I see from a lot of people. When they're fighting Fantoon, he's going to go down this, before he opens up for a mid, he, he's going to go into this little uh, phase where he slows down, right there. And a lot of people mistake that as, oh, he's slowing down, he's going to open up his eye. That's not the case here. It won't happen. And what a lot of people do is they'll have a charge shot ready, and they'll jump up here to hit him. And of course, nothing happens. Nothing will happen. And by missing that charge shot, he's going to be right here and opening up for a mid, and you're not going to be ready for it. Now, this little slowdown motion, this is an amazing visual cue to have you ready for the mid pattern. And I'm going to go back over that. So let me restart the fight. Okay, we're ready for a fast. We don't get it, so release the shot. Okay, by the time he, uh, you release the shot, Pretty much, you want to kind of either wait right here or you want to be on this side of the screen. I typically wait here because this visual cue coming up, it's kind of easier if you stay right here. I mean, it's not really easier. It just, I don't know, makes it more consistent for me to have to sit there and stare at Fantoon. But when you get over here, he's going to be passing you. And once he passes this wall, he's going to do that slow down motion. 
and right about here he's going to pick back up speed well during that slow motion once that slow motion ends and pretty much the timing is this side of his body because he'll be over here but on this side of the body once it crosses the center plane is when you want to start charging and be ready because then he's going to bounce off this wall and open up right here so let me show you here's the slow motion phase so about right there see i'm already hitting my shot because i know so i'm getting ready to charge right now and getting ready for the eye to open now while you're holding the shot whenever you hit fan tune in a, on the upper part of the stage you have to pseudo screw through him and a pseudo screw is when you're holding a charge you have a charge ready and you spin jump if you uh jump too soon the flames that open up will hit you and knock you back or if you don't spin jump the flames will knock you back and you're probably accidentally x factor so yeah just work on the time like i said pretty much if you do what i said wait till you cross the center plane and start charging the timing is dead on perfect so now we're going to pseudo screw through and release the shot once we're on them and of course once you release the shot you want to start charging again and this one's pretty easy somewhat all you're going to do is you're going to hit them and you want to drop not on the center block but just to the left of it and angle up or angle down and stop your motion Fantoon will probably hit you don't be afraid because he's going to he's going to go left first then right then back left and that's when you run into your x factor right there now I'll try to cover this again take off the diagram and here we go release the shot get over here he's slowing down start charging now and just pseudo screw and hit him and get on in this block right here and we got him he's dead yo well halfway dead all right now let's go to left slow opening round same thing even though you've already mastered left fast left mid you want to do some left slow still be ready so we're expecting left fast nothing all right slowing down so we're charging getting ready nothing now once uh you realize you're not getting a mid pattern same thing as left always go for it expecting it if you don't get it release the shot now uh with this one after you don't get a mid and you release your shot by time you fall on stage he's going to be crossing you and he's going to bounce off this wall in slow motion so we're going to use the same slow motion technique but it's a little different on the uh, slow pattern so here you see he's crossing us he's already going in slow motion bouncing off this wall picking up speed now what we're going to do particularly when i release the charge on after the left mid i don't get it i go and get over here and i just start jumping shooting up all the flames jumping up and down spamming shoot because what we got to do now is once he slows down and bounces off this wall we're going to wait for him to come back to that wall and bounce off it again in regular speed and once he bounces off that wall that's when we're going to start charging because he's going to come right down here in the center and open up his eye so let me just back that up to show you real quick the slow down motion now let's go back to where we missed the mid Here's the mid shoot he's already crossing a slow motion so we get over here spam some shots he bounced back off that same wall so we're charging and ready and uh for the x factor pretty much this is also another pretty easy one the only things that can mess you up is depending on the flames down here so when you pseudo screw through his eye you're gonna hit him start holding charge again all you really want to do is just hold this direction until you hit the ground it's gonna be around this area right here and as I was covering depending on the flames down here when you drop on the ground they can bounce you upwards in a direction and Fantoon will react to that and depending on the direction you go he can come right here and just go straight up this way so i like to hold up on this pattern just in case he it's something like that does happen so i can immediately jump and try to follow him i didn't get an example of this 
but I just do that just so I'm ready in case he does travel up too fast above me. And try and go that one more time real quick. I'm just going to skip to the uh, missing the mid again. So yeah, we we'll release the shot. When he's already in slow motion, spam some shots. Once he bounces off that wall again, just be ready to shoot a screw and just hit him and nudge right there in that little corner there, that little spot. And that will do it for the opening left round patterns. All right, round one, opening round. Like I said, the opening round, you only deal with it one time. Uh, once that's over, we're just going to be doing round two from every pattern on. These are pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much where you hit him, you almost want to be the opposite side of the stage. So for round one right, now just like opening up for the left, we're going to be on this block. And we got to wait to see which way he's going. Still do the same shot. As soon as he's solid, we're still going to shoot our shot. And now he's drifting to the right. So now we have to be thinking in our brains, okay, we're getting a right pattern. On right fast, he's going to drift up here. I wait pretty much to where his body crosses these two green dots right here. And I'll just take two, step fo two steps forward to get a, somewhat of a running spin jump to shoot a screw through the flames and then hit him. See, now he crosses those. Now I'm gonna take my steps and pretty much shoot a screw and release the shot. I'm gonna start charging again. And as soon as you release the shot, start charging again. Now right fast on the first round, you can pretty much almost get away with holding the charge, dropping on the ground, and just kind of tap this direction one or two times. Don't hold it, just tap, tap, tap. He's gonna drift over around this way. Now what I do is I try to get over here on this block because uh, he, he'll hit me right in his position and you'll see that right here. And there you go. Like I said, just get, on, get, get within this little area right here. Pretty much you're just dropping down and turning this way and tap, tap and just wait for him. He'll do the rest for you. Right, let's go back over that in one little motion now. And luckily we didn't get flame laid by that, lane, uh, that <laughs> little troll flame there hanging out. Alright, opening round, right mid. Even though we're practicing mid, you know you're practicing a mid or whatever, we're always anticipating a fast, so just get in the habit of that. If he does not open, he's going to take off, release the shot. Now on this one, I know on left, I like to cross the screen, but I like to follow my shot pretty much. If he don't hit, I like to prepare on the opposite side of the screen. Uh, but for mid, I'm going to come back over here because he's going to open up right around here, and it just makes it so easy to set up. So here we go. Now once we fall, he's going to do another slow motion thing right there. We're getting the same slow motion. And this is going to be the same as left mid where we let him go in slow motion. And once he crossed the center plane, we started charging. That's the same thing here. We're going to let this part of the body cross the center plane and start charging standing right here. He's going to swoop by you. He's going to come up here. And he's going to come down right below you pretty much. Right there. Let's go back over that. No right fast, so we're just waiting. Slow motion, cross the center plane, start charging. And wait for him to come in front of you and stop right. It's just a little small, tiny uh, spin jump, pretty much to get through the pseudo screw. I only think it's just one step. You just want to short hop through those. Release the charge. Now on the X Factor, immediately start charging. And this one's pretty easy as well, just like the, uh, I think the left slow we did. You just want to fall down while you're holding the charge and just kind of wait in this little area right here. And again, I hold up just in case a flame knocks me around or whatever. So we'll go back over that again. Just show it one motion. Hit slow down, cross the center plane, start charging. And 
Now for the right slow opening round. Just like a left slow opening round, we're going to follow the slow motion patterns again. And we're going to do the same thing. Let him bounce off a wall in slow motion and wait for him to come back to that wall. So I'm just going to do the whole fight here so we can review everything. So yeah, right fast, nothing. Slow motion, start charging. Wait for him to get in front of you, nothing. So there you go. See, and just like left slow on the other one. As soon as you fall, he's already passing you and he's already doing slow motion. So you should want to get right here. Just like we was over here on left slow, spamming shots. Just jump up and spam shots until he comes back and bounces off this wall. And charging right there. Right, I'm going to back it up to where we missed the mid. Sorry, I just want to go over this in somewhat decent detail. And yeah, here comes the mid. So we pseudo screw, expecting it. We don't get it, so we release the shot. And by the time we land, he's already in slow motion phase, going around. And so we just want to get over here, spam shots, wait for him to bounce off that wall again. And right there, we're getting ready for our charge, pretty much. You can delay a little bit like I did here, but. I mean, pretty much once his body bounces off this wall, start charging. And we're getting ready for a slow up in this area. Again, hit the eye, pseudo screw through them. Release the shot, take your hit, <laughs> and uh, start charging. And we're going to this little block here. I even have this little image here this is the magic spot almost almost any pattern on the right side you hit not not just a right patterns and right slow right mid I'm talking about the eye opening on the right half of the screen you pretty much go to this spot and you're gold so yeah so those are the opening round Fantoon uh, pattern recognitions to know when he's going to open his eye and when to know to be charging and ready and setting up for the x-factors now we will move on to the round two three four five pretty much but we just call them round twos all right so if you're still here we're halfway through the fight now and hopefully the second half with the other two patterns you'll be facing the rest of the fight this shouldn't take as long because I've already covered the basics um, with X-Factor and all that so we can just jump right into it all right first thing I want to get out of the way with round two let me show you with all three basically you're only gonna be dealing with two patterns from the left and two patterns from the right there is a third rare pattern each round you will hardly ever see the left mid on the left or the right fast for the uh, second round they're just very rare I, I, I did about three four hours of recording when I was getting all this uh, footage together to try and splice all this together I never once ran into a left mid during all that I did however come across a right fast so I will have a demo of that but for left mid, I won't have an actual demo for it, but I spliced a run together. Pretty much left mid, rare for the second round, is the same exact setup for a round one left fast, where when he opens up, he comes right here to you. You get hit by the blue flames, which I will cover that. Main thing I want to cover here for round two is all patterns for the second round for the left side. Uh, now when I say left and right that means he's gonna appear right here on the left for a left pattern or he's gonna appear on the right for a right pattern now with the opening round he appeared in the center stage and he went right or he went left that determined the pattern for this one he's gonna appear on the left top corner or the top right corner that would determine it now for left all patterns are on the left side makes it so simpler for the right side they're all over here. They're all grouped on the left, or the right half of the screen, I'm sorry. Um, another thing to point out, I'm gonna, I put this, I overlay these together. 
so just bear with me like I said left half is all left patterns right half is all right side patterns now this is something to talk about specific for round two one thing to notice like here on left fast and here on right fast you'll notice they're the same spots just at an opposite position on the other screen same thing for the mids same position and the slows same height just the exact if you take it fold in half you can pretty much take this screen here and fold it over and you'll get your right patterns so if you learn one side it'll help you determine where the eye is going to be on the right side just something to point out all right so going over uh starting off the second round i've just got this clip with the x factor from the first round so once it hits what i'm gonna do shoot any remaining flames collect any drops i can and i'm just gonna put my back to this wall waiting for him to appear and i've got the timing down i like to go ahead and charge just before he appears on screen it's not important you can wait till you see him so there he is on the left you can see i waited to shoot till i saw him pretty much uh, i like to be right here i know a lot of other players like to stay in the middle during the second round because it, it is easier it sets you up to be able to hit them right here or jump up here if he appears on the right but for me i just keep my back right here and if i see him going left i'll just take a few steps up it's going to take him just a brief moment i mean he's going to open up right around here but he's going to take his time so i'll just take a few steps up and wait till the moment i know when he's going to open up and then i'll see, jump and see to a screw to get to the flames once i'm through them i hit uh, the shoot button to release the shot and i remain holding it to keep the charge going the most common way to handle this setup once you're charging you're just going to hold the direction to the towards this wall because you just want to run up on it and he's just going to follow you that way he's going to do all the rest and easy as can be now i will go ahead and say this for me personally round two left fast x factoring is just the most inconsistent for me and i'll try and show you a few details because right here i'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna get over on the wall and it hits him way too early this particle it came out way too fast this one I'm gonna do the same thing hit him charge run to the wall this time he just decides to move up above and I try to jump at the last minute yeah now I'm raging because I, I noticed he was going up because he does that sometimes this one same thing run to the wall and he just does his own little thing goes too fast and I can't hit him during this whole practice session i wanted to stress this one so that's why i did a lot of them and then i started working on something new i haven't even, i've just learned this myself so i haven't even incorporated my runs but just going to go over it i'm going to do the normal thing jump up there and pseudo screw him and then what i'm going to do after i hit him i'm going to charge a shot turn around i'm going to hold angle down and I'm, I'm charging right now you just can't see the charge shot yeah there it goes now it's on screen and i'm gonna what i would normally do you know get over here on the wall but i'm gonna do when i land i'm gonna do a half jump almost a short hop but a little more i want to jump up half screen then get over here what that's gonna do is that's gonna uh have fantoon track you when you go up he's gonna go up really high and then he's gonna dive bomb you quickly And I did this like, once I got the hang of it, I did it like three or four times in a row. I'm just going to show this. It went pretty consistent. And after a couple of times, I'm going to try and go back to the old way, the more common way of doing it. I think after this one. Yeah, and it's going to fail. And I'm like, well, damn. Then I go back to my short hop. And it just feels way more consistent so that's something if you want to work on it's worth checking out and I see my image got messed up so all right so we're back here second round starting waiting for him to appear and 
just like we did before, give him a little moment, and we're going to pseudo screw through him. And he doesn't open up, so we release the shot. Now, here, by the time you land, he's going to be bouncing off this wall and going in slow motion. Now, once he goes in slow motion, we're going to wait for him to bounce back off that same wall. So when he goes to that wall in slow motion, once he bounces off that same wall during slow motion, we're going to go in charge and be ready. Now, like I said, this is a gimmick one I made up, but it is the same. So this is where round two left mid rare would open up. Just like round one left fast when he appears and comes right to you, same thing, just get hit by the flames. Release the charge, start holding the charge, and jump up to that door height, and just head over to the all the way right, and let them follow you down. Let me cover that again. See it, release the shot, and let them swoop around, slow down against this wall once he bounces off the wall. Start charging and be ready for him to hit you right here. This one you won't pseudo screw. Slowing down, bouncing off the wall. Okay, for left slow, I believe uh, this is probably the toughest one to X Factor for most people because this is the only pattern where you cannot hit Fantoon while he's on stage. You have to wait and hit him after he leaves stage and comes back. I've tried. I even spent like maybe a good 10 minutes just doing all kinds of random stuff like hit him, I'll jump over here, do a handstand over here, and nothing, nothing works. So if someone's got a video of doing that's not Taz, I'd just like to see it. But anyways, let's go on to, let me see which one I got set, because I got two different methods here. Uh, let me go back to this image for just a second. And yeah, I got this crazy writing down here. I'm going to explain that one. But first, I want to go over the more common... Well, one that's going to be a lot easier your first time starting out. So, we're going to do a slow pass. We're going to release the shot, kill some flames, slow motion, bouncing off the wall. We're charging and ready. We don't get the pattern. So, now what he's going to do, by the time you release the shot, shoot a few flames... He's going to come at you in slow motion, crossing the center. On this one, for the second round, slow, we want him to come back across that center in regular speed. So he's coming right back, and now we're going to get ready to charge, because he, all he's going to do, he's not even going to bounce off this wall. He's just going to kind of slowly glide up it, and he's going to open around this area around here. And we're going to pseudo-screw through and pop them. Now this is the easier method. What you're going to do, this is the one, like I said earlier, all patterns when you open his eye and you immediately start charging, this is the only one you won't immediately start charging. On this one, after you hit him, you want to hold over towards the wall. The moment you hit this wall, you want to start charging, holding charge. So let me do this in slow motion. See a no charge shot. And like I said, I don't never use run. I just hold the direction to get over there. And once I hit the wall, there's my charge shot getting ready. Now he's going to come through. He's going to swoop down and hit you. The timing for this, once he goes off stage, you want to just wait one second. And then you're going to jump up. Oh, you're going to hold jump. Just jump up. And me, personally, I like to hold down when I jump up. And that will connect them all. Now let's try and go back over that. I started at the beginning of the fight, so yeah. Release the shot. Now I'm going slow motion to the center. Then let him come back regular speed once he crosses that center. Start charging and get ready. So yeah, hit him. Get over here. Hold the shot. There is another little timing cue I use. Um, like I said, it's one second, but pretty much if he hits you and he knocks you up while you're still holding charge, once you land, you can go ahead and jump. So it doesn't take me that long once I land. 
<clears throat> Let me back that up. All right, so I'm up. So I'm just gonna play this in regular speed for you. Take the hit, then jump. And I just hold down when I'm jumping up for the shot. Now my method. I'll try to explain this. This is just my method. You, you may not want to do this, but this is also a good for a flame lane backup. If the first round, one of your particles hit a flame, uh, this will work as a backup. So it, if you get flame lane the first round and you have a perfect X Factor the second round, Fantoon won't die. He'll still have like, I think 150 or 200 energy left. I haven't done the math, but yeah, he won't die. So what this will do, this will work as a backup. I do it anyway, so it's just more consistent for me personally. And yeah, what we're gonna do is when we hit him in the eye, we're gonna drop down. Well, first we're gonna hold the charge. We're gonna hit him in the eye, hold charge. This, I know I said you don't hold charge on a left slow, but for this specific flame lane backup pattern that I do, you do hold charge. I'll fall down and I'm gonna hold up because Fantoon's gonna do his little right left right movement so I watch him to where he goes right he comes up left right when he's above me I'll release the shot then I start running and immediately start holding charge again and I'll do the same thing as we did with the other pattern though I'll hold it right here then I'll go off screen for one second then jump and this is that pattern full motion I'm gonna start off with the uh, mid pattern the rare left mid pattern he doesn't give it to us so he's slowing down once he crosses this plane again in regular speed start charging and we pseudo screwed through just like normal release the shot I'm gonna start charging again there's my charge and I'm gonna hold up when I land see he's going right now he's got to go left before he goes right off stage so I'm going to wait for him to come up left. Once he stops going left, I'm going to hit him. And I'm going to follow him. holding. Fire, I'm already firing a shot right here. Getting ready to go over here. Don't look at my garbage time. That's old stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting to put that back up after I show patterns. So, yeah, I'm going to get over here while holding charge. I'm going to wait one second. Just jump up. And hold down like normal. And I'm going to show that again in one swift uh, motion. And this particle you see right here floating around. Uh, that's because I hit him. I, I had a successful X Factor the first round, and so if you have two successful X Factors and you still do this method, you're going to have one particle left. Doesn't mean anything. If I had gotten Flame Lane, this would have this would have taken damage. But since he was already dead by the time this last one connected, it didn't get a chance to connect and put damage. So it'll be gone before Fantoon explodes and you open the door and collect the drops. So just want to make that clear. All right, now that should cover round two left patterns. All right, now we're going to do round two right patterns. And again, like I went over, these are all going to be eye openings on the right side. And another, these almost pretty much free for the most part. Uh, you just need to make sure you hit them when his eye opens. And pretty much the fast and the mid, you're going to the magic block. Which it's not perfect because I don't have the overlay set up, but I'll yeah this magic block for the slow pattern you just want to go one block over and by the time you get over here Fantoon's gonna like do a zip mode over here he's gonna hit you but he's gonna come back to you and get hit as well uh, mostly we're concentrating on round two right uh, mid and slow. But I'm going to cover the fast because I actually did get a fast pattern. Alright, so the fast pattern again. I'm doing the same setup I did for left. Just expecting once I see him appear above me, I start firing. 
And I'm just gonna come over here because it's gonna take him a few beats to get over there. So I start charging, turn around, and wait for to go for the pseudo screw. Again, this is a very rare pattern. Three or four hours of doing these recordings, I only got this one time. And luckily, I made a save state before I got it. So shoot him, hold charge, magic spot. Alright, I'm going to leave this brick up here because it's going to be the same coming up. But I'm going to show you um, for that right fast rare pattern. Anytime you hit fan tune on this side, or pretty much anytime you're doing an X factor on the ground and you don't have to let fan tune hit you, like we have to jump up here and let him hit you or be in this corner. If fan tune has to come around this way, if you can get him to catapult over you, uh, pretty much if right before he's fixing to come at you, you can kind of nudge this direction. Now don't hold it, just kind of tap, 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 tap. And just before he hits you, you hold it. You will be able to actually do a damageless X Factor. This is the only, I'm just gonna cover it right here because it's the same for the rest of them. You just, it's just something you gotta practice. But yeah, we're gonna hit him. I'm gonna be fast enough to where he's actually gonna catapult around me right there and once I know he's coming back after me because he's gonna go right left right I'm just gonna inch forward inch nudge and then I'm gonna run just before he hits me and I should have my x-factor set up just to show you that all right for round two right mid I'm gonna go on record and just say this is probably the freest x-factor you will ever get I don't know any other way to say it really. If you don't get this one, then I don't see how you're going to get any other ones. Alright, we're going to start off with the previous round X Factor. Kill some planes, collect some drops, get over in where I prefer to be. Like I said, if you want to be right here and either jump either direction, depending on where he appears, that's fine. This is just how I do it. Also, the reason why I actually do it right here, because it's a setup for right fast which is very rare so I'm not really expecting to get it even though I'm preparing for it and it's easy to get over here but I like to be right here because if I get it right I, I you're almost guaranteed right right mid is so common so if you don't get a right fast you will get a right mid or right slow but right mids are so common and I'm already set up here waiting for it so no rare now just like left, we're gonna let him go in slow motion. Once he bounces off that wall, remember uh, he bounced off the wall and came here for left and we stood on this block. This one, we're gonna stand on the edge of this block and just hold charge once he bounces off this wall. And we're gonna wait for him. This is one you don't pseudo screw, you don't have to. I know some people do. I just take the hit to make it more guaranteed. So yeah, he's bouncing off the wall, I've got my charge ready. Let him hit you with the flames. Release the shot. Start charging immediately. Just get on this magic block. Hold angle down, angle up, whatever. Just stop and just stay right there. And there's not really, I can't really go into much detail. It's, it's really that easy. Well, let me go back over the pattern again though. Let's get back to the opening of the round. I said, expect a right fast. We don't get it. Let him slow down while you're still on the side. And you got to start charging once he bounces. And like I said, get to the magic block. All right, for the final pattern to cover for uh, right, well, the final pattern to cover total, it's going to be the same as the left slow. He's going to go slow motion on the center. And then we're going to charge once he crosses that center again in regular speed. He's going to nudge up this wall and open his eye right here. So let's prepare for a fast. Nope. Slowing down, bounce off the wall. We prepare for a mid. Nope. And so he's slowing down. I'll get on this. I get on this side of the screen just to be prepared because he's coming over here. Let me back that up because I kind of mumbled. Let me go back here to the mid. 
I'm gonna kill all the flames I can get on this side jump and spam because he's already in slow motion so I'm just waiting for him to come back to the same position right here so I'll just spam and try to get rid of as many flames as I can and here he goes regular speed we start charging and we are preparing to pseudo screw through this eye opening now most I'm just gonna put it here most right side eye openings you can go this uh, within this magic block or right here uh, round two right slow is pretty much the only one that you're gonna go one block over here Let me remove that though like I said this block sorry I had my cursor off so yeah, instead of going to the magic one just where the screen's at you don't want to hit the wall the block right before it and that's it so let me just go over that again from right mid yeah just get over on this side he's already slowing down so you just want to wait for him to pass that center again and you're charging and waiting and just get on this block and wait holding charge after you hit his eye and yeah that that's a successful fight it, probably about a 30 second 40 second fight or whatever and i don't even know if it's even that long and yeah that about wraps this up uh just want to say thanks for everyone who either stopped by and watched it live or checked out the video getting linked to it and those who provided the link i did put a lot of effort into this uh, my first draft recording is over two and a half hours long so i went back over everything and just tried to reorganize it re-edit it condense put things more closer together not try and cover something 20 times in a row just it's in video format so if you need it re-explained just back up in the video so hopefully this gives newer players a better understanding of Fantoon. I know it's a lot of information, a lot to take in, but like I said, it's not going to make you an instant pro just watching it. You need to fight Fantoon and kind of watch these steps as you're fighting it and just put it into your gameplay, like I said at the very beginning. Um, it just it's, it takes work. It takes a lot of work. I know I put at least a week and a half just into Fantoon when I started learning, so I really want to learn this guy, and I feel like I have and hopefully maybe coming from a newer player's perspective breaking it down will hopefully help other newer players or those who are fighting fantoon but are just having little problems little errors going on in their fight and like i said hopefully i've made this work somewhat understandable and to make your fight a little less stressful so again thank you for watching and uh, good luck with fantoon and good luck on your runs